Okay, I'm back. So, sorry about the small delay there. Like I say, had a few things to set up. What I'm showing off this morning, um, some of us have been around uh, Call of Duty for a very, very long time. Not as long as this guy, but still a very long time. Now, it's Halloween season and I was getting all the stuff out of the loft for Halloween and I found an original uh, store launch pack giveaway that they gave you when you queued midnight queues of course all night for black ops or black ops 2 or modern warfare 2 back in the day now basically i've just been and got it that's what i've been faffing around at and i thought well you know what somebody might like to see what you got back then because it's a little bit different now we're nearly all digital you know everybody orders everything digitally you don't get all these goodies one of the goodies in fact, I've dug this out of a wardrobe from hell. Is an old Black Ops T-shirt. Check that out. There you go. Black Ops Call of Duty, the original one. There's not many of those left in the world, I bet. But let's have a look at this quick goodie bag before we try try playing. I say try because obviously, you know, reactions. They're not what they used to be, especially back in the day. So we have this. So you got a bag, and in it, now this post has been up and down over the years many times, and I really do hope there's no spiders or dead mice or anything like that in it. We'll soon find out. So we got, and this is just really old, guys. Check that out. Can you see that? So on one side, you got Call of Duty Black Ops, and on the other side, if we flip it over, you get a poster that goes that away. Cool, I'll show you a little degree. What you also got was sticker sheets. Now these are unused. And then, check that out. That's an original Black Ops 2 sticker sheet with all the stickers still on it. The future is black at the bottom there. <laughs> There's one. Really like this stuff, nostalgia, it's fantastic. Uh, and then, I mean, I did queue for this, like I say, all these years ago. What about that one, then? Another sticker sheet. So we've got Nuketown 2025, Nuclear Symbol. And we got some uh, Black Ops Call of Duty 2 characters there. Like I say, stickers. Pretty cool. I mean, you'll never get this stuff again nowadays, I wouldn't have thought. Maybe on eBay, I don't know. An old DLC card there, game add-on card for the Mercenaries Avatar skin, so if you're an Xbox gamer, which in those days I was, Xbox 360, you got a, like an Avatar skin there, like a little camo dude. We also got this envelope, which has got the Call of Duty symbol on the back there, and in the envelope, no it's not a letter, before we get clever. We have postcards. And they are proper postcards, guys. You could send them to somebody. We've got Call of Duty on the back lot. Pretty cool. So there you go, you got an operator. We weren't called operators back then, <laughs> but there you go. And you got, what's that one? Another operator? Oh yeah, he's odd and he's gone. There you go. Got that one, classic. Of course, all this retro stuff is going to be coming to Game Pass very, very soon because Microsoft have just finished buying everybody on the planet. There you go. So I think they're going to put the old Black Ops 1 and 2, possibly Modern Warfare 2, on Game Pass very quickly, certainly before Christmas, and I wouldn't be surprised if they don't do it this month. That's a zombie one, by the way, for zombies, which is my favourite game mode. Uh, I'm more of a zombies player nowadays than a... A multiplayer but hey we got to hit the level 30 and get the freebies so that's that we also got this is a weird one I don't know why I've kept this this must be minging monster energy drink for infinite warfare I mean that's separate it's obviously just snuck it way into the bag from when infinite warfare launched it's got a picture on the back look let's keep that out of the way uh, we have what's this season pass download advert there you go, and on the back, boom. Look at that. 
Xbox 360 and a headset back in the day. A bit curly. Really do need to keep this stuff in a bit better condition, don't I? A bit curly. What else we got? We've got quite a bit of stuff in here still. So we've got this, which is the ultimate guide to Call of Duty Black Ops. It's advertising a book. I didn't know you could make a hard back, really thick book out of Black Ops running around shooting people, but hey, still. There we go. What's this one? Loads of bits in here, you know. All right. Coupon code for a Black Ops 2 t shirt. Interesting. Haven't got the Black Ops 2 t shirt, only the original Black Ops one. So I used to collect them. I uh, got original Division t shirts and original Fallout t shirts, stuff like that. Wildlands, remember Ghost Recall Wildlands. Some headsets, limited edition to go with Black Ops. There you go. There's a lot of bump in here. They're clearly trying to sell you everything. Uh, what is this? PS3. Black Ops. And is it Black Ops 2? Black Ops 2. And there's a dynamic theme for the PS3. There's a code there, which is obviously redeemed. So a dynamic theme for PS3 back in the day. Then we've got... Got a of fluff and dust on this. It's prehistoric. Guys, this has been up in my loft. When did the game launch? I mean, it's been up there that long. So we have, I'll bring that to the camera. It's a wristband, Turtle Beach. And there you go, Turtle Beach. Turtle Beach Black Ops wristband. There it is. One keychain. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it, neck chain thing. So it's got a little Black Ops 2 there with date, calling card on the back, and this this has actually got Call of Duty Black Ops all over it. So what's the date? 13th of the 11th, 2012. Yeah, this stuff's been uh, tucked away for a very long time, that's for sure. So let's put that back in there, back with all the bits of crud that's in there. One. Two. Enemies taking Three. Uh -huh. That should be it. Challenge complete. Yes, now I can switch this.